four shows a week, he paid well over $5 million a year, and owned The Tonight Show Library. He produced all future episodes, which would be cut from 90 minutes to hey one hour. Come here. Star in Come here. Atticus. Come here. Atticus. Atticus. We have a sign that rivals the sign in the Goodyear Come blue. Come here. Uh, Atticus. That's only Come here. Side. Over here I have one that says, fake humility. <laughs> Come on. Johnny was an anarchist in many ways. There's the wonderful story of his going to the polo lounge at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And being asked by the mayor to put on a necktie. What's going right now? Johnny put on a huge necktie that was there for that purpose, but took off his shoes and socks since there was no regulation about going into the polo lounge barefooted until he, of course, did it. <laughs> Though some critics had grown tired of Johnny's formula jokes, Carson continued to reign supreme over the late night landscape, anointing the next stars in the world of stand up comedy. I'm glad that you're all in a good mood tonight because it's always a pleasure to introduce a new comedian to the Tonight Show. The young man's name is Jay Leno. Your first He's Tonight Show is like your way. first girlfriend. You're not very good. It's over yeah. very quickly yeah. and you just want to do it again. It's that kind of thing. <laughs> but I remember being more nervous watching it at night than I was actually at the time doing it. <laughs> this is a commercial where the husband is so insecure. Can't even tell his wife she makes a terrible cup of coffee. <laughs> I think we're just getting an apartment downtown.